This video will help you to use fractions and recurring decimals in arithmetic. You will find the key steps on the screen and I will demonstrate them live. Firstly, you can choose between mixed numbers or improper fractions, that is top heavy fractions, for your preferred display. To do this, in the Calculate app, press Settings and choose Calc Settings, followed by Fraction Result. The calculator uses the term mixed fraction for mixed number. The default setting for display is improper fractions, which you can see is selected with a filled circle. Choose your preferred setting, I'm choosing improper fraction, and press OK. Press the back key as often as necessary to return to the app. We will calculate 2 thirds plus 5 sixths. To enter a fraction, Press the Fraction key and enter the numerator 2. Now scroll down to the denominator. Notice that when you scroll to the denominator, it is highlighted and the numerator becomes grey. We'll enter our 3. Now we need to add the second fraction. First, we must scroll out of the current fraction by pressing the right scroll key. Press Add and then enter 5, 6 in the same way. 5 in the numerator and 6 in the denominator. Press the Execute key to complete the calculation. The answer is given as an improper or top-heavy fraction. If you chose mixed number in the settings at the beginning, your answer will be displayed as a mixed number. The answer is always given in simplest form. If you wish to see the answer in a different fraction format from that which you chose in settings, press Format and then choose Improper or Mixed Fraction as appropriate. The format labelled Standard will use your preferred fraction setting. If you want the answer as a decimal, press Format and choose Decimal. If your calculation involves a mixed number, then use the mixed number template Shift Fraction. We will calculate 2 and 4 fifths minus 1 and 2 thirds. Enter the integer 2 and scroll right to enter the numerator 4. Notice the numerator is highlighted and the other parts of the fraction are in grey to help you with your input. Scroll down to the denominator and enter that. Scroll right to exit the fraction as before. Press subtract and enter 1 and 2 thirds in the same way. Press shift fraction for the template and then enter the integer. Scroll right for the numerator and then down for the denominator. As the entry is already finished, you don't need to scroll out of this fraction to complete the calculation. Simply press the Execute key. The answer is given as a fraction by default. As before, you can format as a decimal by pressing Format. Notice that this time the calculator has included an option for recurring decimal. If this is available, you can choose it. And the answer is given in that format. As well as formatting with recurring decimals, you can also enter one. For example, to add 1.3 recurring to 0.0324 recurring, enter the one point and then press the recurring decimal template shift square. Enter 3 for 1.3 recurring. You must scroll right out of the recurring decimal template before entering the next number. Now enter add and the next number 0, 0.0 and the recurring decimal template shift square followed by the recurring digits 3, 2, 4. Notice that the calculator expands the recurring dots from the first to the last recurring digit automatically. Press the execute key to complete the calculation. 
The answer is given as a fraction, but you can format it as a recurring decimal as before. I think it's a good idea to practice using the fraction and recurring decimal templates and also to practice converting the answer between different forms, including decimals.